Hey man, you rockin' with your girl Cargo Down here at Studio Club Memphis, man Fuck with your girl, Miss Tennessee When it's time to move out, I'm moving out the salads When it's time to move out, I'm moving out the Why you chose the name Cargo? Let's start there Alright, well, cargo to me mean the package. It mean the whole, it's the whole shipment. It's from A to Z. When I come in the building, I'm coming in the building. And it's coming with everything you need. Okay. That's okay. why I'm choosing cargo. I like that because when I think of cargo, I think of like, you know, like a big shipment of everything. Right. And you got so many talents, you know what I'm saying? From the okay. music to the art to the, the tattoos, right. you know what I'm saying? Like right. you got everything. So yeah. that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. How long you been doing music? Publicly, two years. Two years. But the song been in my heart all my life. I don't know if nobody ever heard of Little Less or the uh uh Momo, the, the youngest drum on Bill Street or the billionaires off of Bill Street. My yes. my family come from a musical background. They all play instruments. We growing up, we eating peanut butter, jet sandwiches. They playing music. Family gatherings, they playing music. I'm talking about you see them playing. We're not listening to no radio. We're listening to them. Hey. And man. that's where I get that shit from. Man, no peanut butter and jelly sandwich still be fine <laughs> to this day, though. Hey, I hate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You right do. now. I ate so many of them motherfuckers when I was little. Yeah. I hate them motherfuckers. Hey, every once in a while I had to get me one in, I ain't gonna lie. Uh -huh. So let me ask you this. What made you want to do music? Well, I feel like I got a message. I feel like the song in my heart need to be told. I feel like I got a natural niche for it. Mm -hmm. I think that with me doing so many different things, when you have a natural niche for something, it's for you to do. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I don't got to be the biggest or the best. You know, I I just want to do it. I don't got it. Don't got to even reach nobody. But whoever it do reach, I'm happy with it. When you decided that you wanted to pursue music, was it something? It happened in your life that triggered that to say, man, I think I'm going to pursue this music. Like, do you recall what exactly what Depression. it was? Depression. Depression. Uh, okay. They killed my little girl daddy. Uh, rest in peace, twice as nice, man. Mr. Twice as nice as Memphis, man. Black tattoo parlor down on Lamar. Uh, 2001, 2002, all the way up to two years ago. That's where I've been rocking, doing my tattoos. They killed him two years ago. And, uh... On, and by the way, the killer is still at large. So, wow. I had justice for Randy. After he died, I had nobody else to talk to. And I had nobody to release or vent my, 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 my emotions and my feelings to no more. So I started to write. When I started to write, people said, man, it's hard. It's hard. You should, you should. Hey, that's going to help somebody. It's going to help somebody. Oh, okay, I'm for that. Yeah. And, that's, that's, and I'm very shy. I'm yeah. very, very shy. Not the one, the first one to do nothing hard like dancing and you know, I'm just not really into all that. But the music gave me the courage that I need yeah. to not be so shallow or like quiet all the time. That's my voice. It's my voice. That's my way to be what they do, what they do to make themselves themselves. I use music to make me my make me me. Wow. It wow. made me feel like me. A good answer. Definitely rest in peace to them. You know what I'm saying? That's Randy. Randy. Mr. Yeah. We said twice as nice. Mr. Tattoo. Twice as nice. Yeah. I remember that. That was big. Yeah. That's a big tattoo place back in the day. Yeah. yeah C4 man. and Paula the switches, man. We had them and Dan popping bottles and shit, man. We've been balling man. for a long time. That's crazy. Been balling for crazy. a long time. Man, definitely sorry you lost him and um, you know. You know, I'm glad that you did get something out of it as far as pursuing your music career, you know, using the trials and tribulations to, you know, the fuel to your fire, you know, for your music. So that's dope. That's dope. What would you call your music style? I don't have one. No? Uh, I, I would think uh, more so of me. I'm a music composer. Uh, I like to compose music. Gotcha. I like to make it. I like to write. Uh, I don't have to necessarily be the person performing a song. But I do want to hear that shit on the radio one day. Gotcha. And I think that's what's keeping me going because I, I know one day I'm going to hear that shit on the radio. It ain't got to be me singing it. Somebody going to sing that shit on the radio. So would you say you're kind of a fan of all music genres to exactly. be able to, Absolutely. to navigate your way through the music world? I like all music. It's not no music genre that I can't get with. I love all. I just love music. I'm just passionate about it. Speaking of that, that's funny you said that because I know you just dropped a country rap song. I did. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it was inspired by, I had met this girl 
uh, and, and my backyard just moved and she, they was out there scavenging through the trash, right? And okay. so I was like, man, so she told me her story and then I instantly come up with the words, you know, uh, man, my heart I can't take it no more, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, uh, it, it, I tried a few rap songs, you know, I, I tried a few R&Bs or free blues songs to make the words go. And so when I came across that song, it was I didn't pick the song. I didn't pick the I didn't pick the genre. It was what it went with. So and when I put it all together, I went over to ten thirty Mike Mike uh, Green. Mm -hmm. I told him, hey, man, I got the song, man. I want to I want to I want to do. It's different, but I like it. I really want to do it. He said, all right, come on down. I get down. We do the song, and it was amazing. You know, yeah. it, it turned out. I wish I wish I would have taking time to you know to actually seize the moment more mm -hmm. because the song is beautiful you know and uh i guess it kind of picked me yeah I, I didn't hey, really pick it shout out to mike green Ten man shout out right? to motherfucking you know mike saying? green y'all know a whole what's lot of love going on a lot right of now. mike green shit going on you know what i'm saying studio a lot of bread you know what i'm saying it's a whole lot of love but uh i follow you and i be hearing you know all your music it. and i've definitely heard the growth from the, you know, when I first started listening to you to now, it's been an amazing journey. Yes. And then just to see how you are able to be over here in this group right. with these folks, right. giving them what they want. But right. then you able to jump over here in this box and give them the, the gangster shit. Are right. you able to jump over here and give them the auto tune right. feeling? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're a little bit, man. You so, got me blushing right I here. I got to salute you for that. You hey, know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been out here watching you, and, and you know, you've been working hard at it. And um, you just definitely deserve, you know what I'm saying, everything that's coming. You know what I'm saying? And, right. And, you know, I don't know why it ain't came yet. Hey. I would have thought. You know, um, it's coming, man. With it's things coming, man. that's been popping in Memphis, I would have thought your name would have been ringing some bells, but it's ringing. You know, it's um, ringing. It's ringing. You know, sometimes you can't be a part of every crowd, and sometimes everything ain't for you. Yeah. You know, maybe you done had your run and your run. You give other people an opportunity, a chance to get on major platforms. That platform and those people that I deal with, hey, they, they've helped my career greatly, and I don't yeah. regret any. People, anybody that I've ever worked with, I don't regret that because right. it made both of us. It was an experience, and you know, I, I sit there and I smell the flowers along the way to the destination. It's just not about the the destination with me. I embraced the journey, and for that, I'm grateful. And I, I wish all of them cats the best, and I hope they wish me the, the best. You know, hey, right? that's that's beautiful. It's a humbling experience when you think like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. Is there any artists out here that you would compare yourself to? Any anybody out here that's kind of like similar, a little similar to your style, or similar to how you bouncing around? Nobody. It's only one. Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson. That's it. The OG. Smokey Robinson. That's okay. the only okay. That's the only person I know. Well, I don't know personally, but I've no. I've seen the resume. Yeah. And that he he he, he, he the only one that's probably on my caliber. A music composer. Gotcha. Writers like Missy Elliott. Yeah. You got Outkast, Andre. Missy, did she just get inducted into the Hall of Fame? Yeah, of course. As, yeah, as salute, she salute should. As she should. Right, Missy, yeah. I shout out she to her. Been in there. It's overdue. Long right, overdue. Right, right. Brett, the Brett, uh, Erica Badu. Uh, I want to speak on that for a second. Like, to be a female artist, is it harder to get on for people to really take you serious? Do you got to go that extra harder? Do you think? I'm going to say it's harder for me because I'm not selling sex. Okay. I'm going to say it's hard for me because I'm not showing my body on my videos. Mm, say I'm going to say it's not. It's harder for me because I'm not talking about stealing, killing, and robbing. I got a vibe. Right. I'm a real, I, this is a real art to me. So, yeah, it's hard for me, but it's recognized by people that matter. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the rest. Gotcha. What are your, some of your favorite artists that you listen to? Lauryn Hill. Uh, Dope. Erica Badu. Um, I listen to Mr. G of Y N T. I fuck yes, with him. My guy. I fuck with uh, Cheeks. I, I listen to her Sandy, shit. Sandy. Sandy Cheeks. Yeah, I listen to her shit. Sandy. Marvin Gaye. You know, Michael Jackson. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. old school. Yeah. Day rough. Oh, but like, new stuff. I, I like Sauce Walker. I fuck with Gucci Mane. Uh, yeah. Dolph, you know I fuck with Dolph. Sure, rest in peace. Hey man, we got this shit on playback. We got this shit on repeat. And man, Frazier boy, fucking with that. I'm fucking with T Dolph. Man. If you could pick one person to work with in music, who would you pick Missy. and why? 
Missy. Missy uh, yeah. Because I've idolized her all my life. She has written so many songs. I mean, songs you would never think that she wrote. Like yeah. type shit. I think she's probably the greatest music composer. See, she's a music composer like me. Yeah, I feel like she. I hope she watch it too, man. I even yeah. used to come on over here and grab you, girl. Shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, she always been a real creative man. writer. You know what I'm saying? I remember when she made that song when she was burp to the right, right, right. Only Missy would have had a ball to say something like that. Facts. And, and the shit blew up. Facts. You know what I mean? It was like, and it was just like so unique and simple that, yeah. you know, it's just really, this shit is not, not hard. I told myself since I they had a studio, I told myself I was going to uh, reverse that back and see what she actually said right there. Hey, yeah. but it sound good. Right. Hey, I fuck Missy, babe. Hey, I fuck with her. Yes, it is. What do you think of when you think of Memphis music? Like they do it a spilling beat. Can you say it? Can you rephrase it? Can you put it in a sentence? <laughs> what do you think uh, of, uh, right. like, somebody says Memphis music to you, like, what you think of when you hear that Memphis music? Do you think of Bill Street Blues? Do you think of 3-6 Mafia, you know, to be, 8 I, Ball of MJG, you know, uh... I can only go from my music Play experience... If you would have asked me that probably three or four years ago, I would say, man, it's this, it's it's gangster. You know, somebody yeah. I would say it there, but now that I'm in the underground, some of these cats don't make it out of underground. Mm -hmm. Some of these cats won't make it out of underground. And so, but to be have experienced them, it gives you another type of sensation. So I would say it's genius. Say it again. Genius. Genius. Memphis music is genius. Say that. Because the way they creatively explain their thoughts, and we know that these thoughts are true. When you sit down and write, you think you're thinking about what you, how you feel, right? Mm -hmm. Some of us, some of us, copycatting, or some of us doing what somebody else is doing. But I'm saying, but most of the time when you write a song, you mm -hmm. you say how you feel, and if that's the shit that's on your mind, that's genius. Yeah, that's fucking genius. And, and you kind of answered my next question, which is um. What do you think about the current state of Memphis and how we're impacting the culture? It's Memphis or none. They learning from Memphis. That's where they getting the styles from. All the big names all around the world, they come here. Go to one of our little subdivisions or one of our little projects because they know somebody. They hear them y'all niggas in their kitchen. They hear them folks over there playing that guitar. They biting that shit. They taking that shit back to Hollywood. So what I can say, man, hey, shit, we is the culture. Right. If you ask me. Why do you think... All those big record labels, they got all them big, nice, fancy offices up in New York and stuff. Why you think ain't none of them came and bought no bill down here in Memphis? Because it's easy for a Memphis motherfucker to sell out. They ain't got to come down here when these motherfuckers thirsty, running their ass down there. Everybody trying to run, 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 run to they, they go over here. They uh, they run into each and every event. Don't know these folks from who, who I sound. They just run. Is there any local artist that you have been watching or you would love to work with? Look, Chad, uh, me and Santa Cheese, we actually did do a collab together. Uh, me and her and the Playmakers, we all, we all did a collab. Uh, Player Fly, 3 6, you know, it's my key Glock. I done did features with everybody in the city. I done got everybody a feature down there. If they wanted a feature from me, they got it. So I, I can't say if I want to do a feature. I done did features with every. With every be easy. I'm talking about, I ain't really ain't nobody I ain't did no feature with, so I can't say. No local people, because all the local people didn't do the feature with me. So I had to say somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said don't. We back here once again with Cargo, a.k.a. Erica Tebron. Hey. All right. So uh, do you have any current music out or videos out that people can go check out? If so, tell them where they at. All right. You can go to Cargo, C-A-R-G-O on YouTube. Uh, you can go to C-A-R-G-O-O -O on YouTube. And you can go to C-A-R-G-O-X, Ty Sosa Memphis Music on YouTube, a rap album on there. You got R&B John on there. Then you got like all the beginning times where I had first started out, like the bloopers. Like it's all on YouTube. Cargo at YouTube, man. Uh, and then Cargo with the double O on YouTube, man. You're going to find that shit. All this shit on there. Let's go into this artwork. All right. So first let me say thank you so much for this beautiful artwork you did on my wall right here. Right. This shit is so dope. Everybody come in, love the artwork. Oh man, thanks. They 
They absolutely love it. It's a, it's a, something to talk about. A conversation of peace, in. man. Hey, yeah. I had a time, the time of my life doing this. I mean, you taught me a lot of stuff. You was able to talk to me about stock markets, and we talked about another, like, a lot of business ventures and stuff. So, yeah. hey, like, as I was doing it, and this was totally all of your idea. Like, your, this is your idea. You was like, man... Hey, I want to be acting like look like I'm looking out on Bill Street, man. But I want it kind of dope, kind of like you know, kind of cartoony. I was like, I got something for you, man. Yeah, Danny, you man. definitely did that. You yeah. definitely did. I appreciate that, you, you know. When I first got in contact with you, you know, I sent you had skills, but I didn't know you was gonna pull something off like this. <laughs> you know, I didn't know it was gonna be this dope. I still to this day get caught up in here looking at it, and be like, damn, I gotta go, and I'm just. It's like I'm noticing something I ain't even noticed yet. Right. You know, so I definitely appreciate you. You know, you're a really dope painter. I appreciate you. Know, you um, I think everybody in the world need to know, like, your talent as a painter. You know, you, you cold with the music, too. But, like, don't take her lightly in this painting world. Like, right. you should be a famous award-winning painter Damn. out here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So, like, I got to <laughs> give your flowers for real. And, um, appreciate you, bro. At what point did you become a painter? Or what, when was that a passion? Was that I blame, music? I blame that shit on the Victor's Pointer from Tresman High School, bro. Was in Tresman High School, uh, you know, one of those those kids that that was that teachers went over and beyond and out the way to try to help them succeed because they had a hard time. So he brought this AP art class to the school in my 11th grade year. It gave me a college credit. So I took it more serious because I was actually working on concentrations and stuff like that. But I could draw. So as you go on, I never thought you could get you no know, paid off of getting off of drawing. Like so, mm -hmm. uh, once I started getting paid for it, was like the rest was history. Gotcha. It was like That's perfect the craft, <laughs> you know. That's like, amazing. Do it all. And, and I see you, you. You know, you've done did you know artwork on walls from you did. Artwork on people's food Truck, trucks, yes. tattoos on people's bodies, tattoos, like yeah. man. doing their clothes. I'm customizing so their like, shoes. That also, as we were saying earlier, it's like as an artist to be able to jump in all these different genres of music and do that. As a painter, you also can do that. Like you can paint a, a wall abstract. You can paint a person's face. Fact. Like you able to do anything. It's no like, limit. It's cargo. It's the package, bro. I'm telling you, it's coming with what you need, man. That's genius. That's, that's amazing. Cargo, that's what I'm saying. Cargo. Like that's next level. That's upper echelon. So that's why you sitting on this red couch right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in this studio plug treatment. You Thank know what I'm saying? Shout out to Studio Plug Mips. Shout out to Studio Plug. Y'all already man. know about us. StudioPlugMips.com. Check us out. We do it all from music recording, photography, videos, CD print duplication. Man, go check us out, man. We everywhere. Thanks. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah. Hey, yes. So let yes. me ask you this. What can we expect more from you in the next couple of years? Growth. I, I can't say what that looks like because I'm taking it day by day. And uh, whatever assets and resources are available to me uh, determines how far I can take it. So uh, I'm going to go as far as it, it, it's going to take me. Uh, I'm going to go as far as my road leads. I have it calm. So, you know, because sometimes it ain't going to be like you want. You got to be able to adjust to all things. So whenever it comes, present itself and have it calm. I'm just going to take it day by day and continue to progress with myself. Any shout out to right, Shout out to Studio Plug. Hey, your wife still making them t-shirts, right? You're gonna get that business one day, making these customs, doing customs and this shit. So shout out to her, keep doing your thing. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Hey, shout out to all the motherfuckers that's making real music out here. Hey, shout out to Mike Green, shout out to T Dog. Man, shout out to, you know what I'm saying? God, man. Yeah, my dad, my brother. Anything else you wanna say? Man, go on YouTube, man, get this shit. Hey, stream, run my streams up, man, share my lives, man. Cargo, YouTube, man. Cargo you to C A R G O or C A R G Double O. How can they get in touch with you? Uh, Email. Do you? Okay. Hit up, <laughs> hit up Studio Plug Memphis. Hit up Studio Plug Memphis, man. So, well, hey, I think that's all we got. Unless there's anything else you want to add, I definitely appreciate you coming through. Ain't no doubt, man. Spending time. Yeah. We about to get in here and see what you, you know. What I'm saying, get you to bless this mic. Bless. Spit it. some real quick. Show. Oh, right, yeah. Let's get it. I came party. Suited and booted, 
Laugh like a motion picture, call it a movie. The lights got low, the way to play me some music. Everybody's trying to figure out what I was doing. To be honest, I, I don't have a clue at all. I'm just grooving to the beat while you holding the wall. I got jukebox memories. I don't just play me some music. Yeah, 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 I got jukebox memories, play me some music, yeah, 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 I'm city to city, state to state, I got to keep it moving, baby, old folk tales from southern nurse ring out like a freedom bell. I said, old folk tales from southern nurse ring out like a freedom bell.